What do we expect tonight? What kind of reception for Pete? Oh, it'll be good. Yeah, it'll be interesting because, you know, we, we were on the field last year with Joe Morgan's statue. So, I mean, it was a tremendous reception. And everybody, everybody still, he's hometown. Everybody still loves Pete. I mean, he, you can't help but love Pete. I mean, you can't help but like him. He was, well, he's one of the greatest competitors I've ever seen uh, with determination and had high goals. I loved it for it because he got on base. I got to drive him in. He said, you know, you can hit 300. I said, yeah, Pete, I can. I said, you hit 300, get your 200 hits. I'll drive you on 100 times. We'll all have a wonderful time. <laughs> and so th- nobody's going to, you know, whatever's past is past. We, it's dredged up again, of course, now with the new commissioner. And the commissioner has addressed it. And he said he's going to look at everything around him and, and make a decision based on that. And he's giving it a fair, honest evaluation. And But I think he's trying to deflect it away from what is happening here because everybody's trying to make a big deal of them trying to meet yes. while they're here and everything else. And I don't think that'll happen. It'll happen in a venue outside of here. And, it, you know, people will be able to present his case. The commissioner will have everything that can possibly be seen and done within every record boxes of stuff. And it'll be something that, uh, you know, they'll have to base that on. But do you know something that there is a meeting that's in place between Pete and the commissioner? No. No, I, I just happened to hear, hear the commissioner talk this morning saying that he's still looking through stuff and everything else. And now, you know, we are in the middle of one of the, the midsummer classics that right now for this town is is just they've, they've thrown out everything. They put on their best Sunday clothes. They're dressing it up. They're doing everything they possibly can to make this the most thing. And it'll be focused on the young people and the young players and the all-stars. And to take away from that, I think the commissioner certainly wants to deflect that away and say, you know what? I will do this, but it's it's not going to happen right now. Will they shake hands? Will they be together? Probably, probably so. But at that time, so, you know, when can we meet? And it says, well, you call my my secretary and we'll set up an appointment. But it, it's not going to be quite like that. But there will be a time that, uh, you know, this, this commissioner wants to be fair about it. He wants to do it. He knows he has to address it. And as a result, he's going he's gonna to have everything before him. He's going to be prepared for whatever Pete wants to say, the contrition that he may have everything about it, and then he'll have to make a judgment call on that. But you have to remember, there's 11 guys on the suspension list. Yep. So this is this is something that if we're going to say that, then he'll have to address all 11. I'm sure he's looked at that. I, but see, like, yeah, I, you know how I feel about the Reds and watching you guys growing up, and, of course, Pete Rose. And um, it's a lifetime ban, Johnny. And... I, I, I just don't think the commissioner can go back on this because what is he saying to the previous commissioners? I, I think they're worried there's more uh, to the story with Pete Rose that he lied for so long. Oh, he only gambled as a Reds manager. Oh, he only bet on the Reds. Now we're finding he bet as a player. Did he bet against the Reds? I don't know that. So I, I Pete's a Hall of Famer. But he's, he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. That's, um, that's how I feel. Well, I mean, if you don't bet, him on, every, bet on him every night, then that's, that's just different. So, 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 you know, did he bet on only the Reds to win? But if he didn't bet on him every night, then, then it turns that around. And, and the thing, you know, we, we, you know, it's been 26 years, so, I, you know, it's my Hall of Fame year. So I probably, a little, you know, <laughs> I've had to answer this for 26 years. And here we are talking about, instead of talking about, you know, Zach Granke and the great story about him and the, his his personality and the fact that Kuchel's and Ketchel's going to pitch tonight and we're going to see some great players. You know, that that is, we're, we're not highlighting. We're, you know, when you come into town, the paper, you know, is talking about, again, the Pete Rose and the commissioner rather than about Todd Frazier and uh, Arolas Chapman and, and really the, the honor that has been bestowed upon them and I just, uh, I just uh, hope that, you know, one way or the other. My teacher in eighth grade, from, uh, Francis Tate, said, "You make your own bed, you got to sleep in it." And I still remember that to my day. Do you ever? Did you ever get close to fighting Pete when you played? Oh no, 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 no. We never. I mean, we never. We were, we were in business together. I, we still hug each other every time we see each other. You cannot help but like Pete. There, he's got the personality to make you want to do that. And, and he's, he's funny. He's, you know. He, he can be as charming as any human being as we all can be sometimes. Yeah. And there are some times when you can do it. Not not once did we ever have, I don't think, even a negative word together. And and to this day, you know, he, you know, few, several years ago, he apologized to me for, you know, making my year so difficult in my induction year. And, and he meant it. And he apologized. And I was proud of him. And, you know, and 
as, as I, I stated this morning, I said, you know, just just show you're sorry. I mean, you know, do something to prove to everybody. And, and even then, you know, the rule states it's a lifetime suspension. And, you know, everybody still, you know, puts him on a pedestal as, as because of the greatness that he had during the game. And, the, you know, the appreciation for all of that is always going to be there. So if you're a Hall of Famer in, in all these fans' minds, really, I mean, that, that goes a long way for him.